Hi, within this section we discussed how hackers actually decrypt the passwords of WEP and WPA encrypted routers so that they can connect to our network and they can steal our data. In fact, within the next lecture, within the next section, we're going to see how hackers can steal the information easily when they are connected to a network. And in order to prevent this from happening, we need to stop them be before they continue and connect to our network. So they shouldn't be able to decrypt our password, gather our password, okay? And best way to do that is to have a safe password, safe encrypted router. So in order to change your router settings, you have to go to your administrator account. And in order to do that, just open your browser when you're connected to the internet with your router, with your machine. Just type 192.168.11 to your browser and hit enter. It will pop open your administrator dashboard of your router. If it doesn't open, you have to call your internet provider and ask them how I can connect to my dashboard because I need to change my password, I need to change my router name, I need to change my encryption model or anything, okay? They will tell you how to do that. Because if you don't know, if you didn't do this before, then there is a good chance that you don't know your username and password as well. So username is most of the time admin, but maybe you don't know your password and you have to ask to your internet provider anyway. If you can get this admin and password username, just log into your account and this dashboard may look different in your case because they look different for each internet provider, each router model, um, they will look different obviously and they will look different on every version but it really doesn't matter because all we are going to do is find the settings they all have settings page right so i'm clicking on my home network here then i'm going to go to my wlan settings and you have to find something called wlan encryption if you open that up you will see that you can change your router name from here and you can actually choose your encryption settings right now i use wpa and wpa2 of course i can use wep but if uh, that that wouldn't be safe so it isn't wise to use wep in this day and age so use wpa or wpa2 and you have to use a complex password so everyone recommends complex password, but in this time you have yourself seen, the easier the password, the easier to crack it with word list attacks. If you come up with a long and complex password with spatial characters or something, then it would get much more harder for hackers to crack it. So use WPA2, use long and complex passwords, don't ever try to give your router password to anywhere other than your real connection area in your computer. For example, you shouldn't write down your router password to any web form in the browser. So maybe some hackers try to get your password by tricking you into just giving your password to some web form as well. And you shouldn't fall for this trick since you know how hackers work at this moment and you have to configure your router settings properly in order to protect yourself from the previous attacks that we have learned. So let's stop here and within the next section we're going to discuss the attacks after a hacker connects to a network that is post-connection attacks.